One of the things that Lightburn has historically been a bit weak at is the handling of DXF files, uh, specifically recapturing the connectivity information. So what I mean by that is when you import a DXF, such as this, um, it often comes in in segments. Now, this is the way that DXFs are saved. The software that generates them emits these as small line segments and they are not connected together. You can see that uh, the marching order here uh, is even different, which says this line starts here and goes this way, and this line starts here and goes this way. Um, so these are not continuous shapes. Most software that exports DXF files creates files like this, where there are lots of line segments, arcs, points, shapes, curves, and so on, and no information whatsoever about how to connect them back together again. And the software that imports them is supposed to just deal with it. We've been rather bad at that. Um, so this version of Lightburn uh, received a complete rewrite of the DXF joiner. Um, so to show you it, join. That was it. It's very fast compared to what we've had before, um, and it also does a remarkably good job. So if you look at these lines now, this is one continuous line traveling along here, very smooth. Um, at this point, it could have chosen to go this way, um, but it didn't. It chose the straighter path, and it tries to do that intentionally uh, to give you better results. Um, so in this case, it'll do the corner because that makes sense. In this case, it continues forward because that makes sense, and so on. Um, these loops are relatively continuous, travel all the way around the shape, much in the way that you'd expect. Um, ditto for these loops over here in the ring. Um, so very fast, uh, generally quite bulletproof, doesn't break the shapes like it used to, and so on. Um, if I clear out this file, in my settings, I can change my autoclose tolerance. Now this is the DXF import specifically, autoclose tolerance. So I'm setting it to uh, 1 100th of a millimeter. If I import that file again, as part of the import process, it's auto-joined, as it should be. Um, some files, having it automatic like that might not be the best option um, because it's possible for files to be fairly bad. So by setting this to zero, you're saying I don't want it automatically joined when I import. I'm going to bring in another file that was given to us by a user. Um, the reason this file is bad is because many of these shapes are duplicated. So the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, remove the duplicate shapes. 650 were found. Would you like to delete them? Yes. So after that, now the auto join is a good candidate. If I look at these, uh, zoom in here, these are all small segments. Uh, in addition to being small segments, they're actually lines, which is even worse. But we'll show how to deal with that in a moment. So I'm going to grab everything, auto join. That's done. Now each of these is a continuous shape. Uh, you can see that's all one. In addition, if I want to make this file behave a little better, uh, take a look when I'm zooming and panning. Uh, this is panning. The performance is not spectacular. Um, I select everything and say optimize selected shapes. Change this to fit arcs. Now, if I look at any of these circles, you can see they've been converted to arcs. Um, and so the performance overall of this file is much better. Dragging and moving is very quick. Uh, so this is an excellent thing to do. It also improves the quality of the cut when it's sent to the laser because it can optimize the output for the shape being sent to your hardware.